Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is just going to be kind of a quick overview of um, the native event that just happened recently. I don't feel like there was as many announcements this time around as there was um, during the last native event, but I did still see a few things that I really, really liked. So I wanted to talk about them and share them and kind of just show them to you guys and get your thoughts and opinions on them because I think there was some pretty good ones this time around, just not as many. Um, but yeah, and then um, just kind of as a little like side thing or an extra little piece, I will also be sharing the Smile Fest announcements that I was personally excited for. So I won't be going over all the Smile Fest announcements, just the ones that I um, will most likely be pre-ordering or will be interested to see how they turn out. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. Um, I think for the native stuff, I might also just kind of talk about the things that I'm personally really excited for or the things that I thought turned out really nicely. Um, I'm not going to go over everything just because I don't want this to be a super, super long video. Um, it's kind of more of a chill a uh, quick video if if that makes sense. So um, yeah, I'll probably just be touching on the things that I'm personally quite interested in, which there was still a lot. So um, this might still end up being a little bit on the longer side. <laughs> but the first thing I wanna talk about is uh, this figure here. I will make sure to put a picture of each figure that I'm talking about on the side of the screen. So I'll actually move this over a little bit. So I will make sure to put a picture of the figure here, that way you guys can get a good look at it. Um, I won't be doing the screen recording like I did last time, just because I feel like it's a little bit easier um, to just edit a picture in, so I'll be doing that instead. Um, I, I apologize, I won't know the names or the artists for all these figures, um, but I will do my best to link all of the My Figure Collection pages in the description if I'm able to. That way, if you're interested in it, you can um, get a better look at those and also add them to your wish list on My Favorite Collection if you want to do that. So this first one here, I just really like the whole composition of this figure. I think the pose is really cute and the base is a little bit more unique than what we usually see, so that's always nice. And then I really love the colors of this figure. She is a tan skin figure, but I think the tan skin goes really nicely with the um, very pale white clothes and then the nice vibrant pops of blue. I do believe this is also um, from a series or a set. There is another girl who I believe is Nora. I think that's what the figure's name is. And she has a very similar vibe with the cat ears and whatnot, but she is blonde and I think her outfit is black if I'm not incorrect. Um, I'm not sure of the artist on these, but I do think they are pretty cute. I don't know if I will pick her up, but um, I do quite like how she turned out. I think we had the uncolored prototype last time. And then next up, I will go ahead and talk about this one. So this is the, I think this is supposed to be Lilith Bacon. It's the pole dance version though. This is gonna be by Asanagi, one of my most favorite doujin artists. Um, so far, she looks decent, I would say. Um, I was hoping we would see her painted finally during this event, but um, it's just, again, a grayscale version, just like last time. I don't think she looks bad at all, though, um, but I will have to wait to see how she looks painted because I do feel like the prototype looks a bit different to how the postcard illustration is. But um, if she turns out good, I will most likely pick her up. Recently, I've been pre-ordering almost every single <laughs> Asanagi figure that goes up just because, um, like I said, they are one of my favorite artists. So I like to be able to have most or all of their figures. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. Uh, and that's that. And then um, next up, I would like to talk about this one, which I'm quite excited for. I think he looks so cute. Um, it's supposed to be a femboy character, 
um, and I just, I love it so much. You don't see male figures very often and especially not male figures that are more feminine. And that's personally what I prefer. Um, I like very pretty, very angelic, very ethereal, um, feminine male figures, but you don't see that very often, let alone male figures at all. So, um, I will most likely be pre-ordering this one as long as the paint job turns out good. Uh, I love the little peace signs. I'm a sucker for the peace signs and the very cheeky smile. So I'm really hoping this one turns out good because I think it does look very, very cute. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, this is another one that I'm quite excited for as well. Um, we only had the um, gray prototype last event, but uh, the this bunny girl is finally painted. She is a futa and i think she she turned out stunning i'm so 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 excited for her to go for pre-order i'm hoping she'll go for pre-order soon since she does look pretty finalized in the photos that i've seen of her and um the selling point mostly for me on this figure is her face i love her face i think it is so stunning i love her shark teeth and her little again with the peace signs i just i i can't i can't get away from it i love the peace signs they're so cute and honestly, just the coloring on the face looks super, looks super, super crisp and just really good. Um, but yeah, so hopefully uh, she'll go for pre-order soon because I definitely will be pre-ordering her as well. Another one that I am quite excited for and which if she turns out to be a 1-4 skill, I will definitely be pre-ordering her and she will be my very first Magic Bullets figure. Um, I haven't been a super huge fan of some of the other Magic Bullets figures that have been announced just because 1-6 one, uh, one scale is not my preferred scale. I much prefer 1-5 and 1-4 scale, so um, anytime I can, I shoot for those scales because those are my favorite scales to purchase. And most of the Magic Bullets figures are 1-6 scale, so I just haven't really found one that I like enough to purchase, and especially because they are a little bit on the pricey side, but... If this one turns out to be a 1 fourth skill, it will be a definite pre-order because I think she looks so cute and I love her little collar um, and her outfit is really adorable as well. I think the sculpting on her looks awesome. Like her shoes are so detailed and the stockings are chef's kiss. So um, I'm really, really, really crossing my fingers and hoping that they will go with 1 fourth skill. I know they did a poll over on their Twitter and I did vote for 1 fourth skill. So hopefully, hopefully, they will, they will commit to that because if they do, she will be an, an instant pre-order for me probably. And then next up, um, we have, there was a couple bunny girls in here um, that I thought were okay. None of them really like super piqued my interest. So I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna skip over them just cause I'm not like super interested in them. Um, I will say though, this bunny girl here which um, is illustrated by Masami uh, Chie, I believe is how you pronounce it. I was really, really, really excited when they announced um, this bunny girl and when I saw the art, but I'm honestly not, I don't know how I feel about the prototype so far. I feel like it doesn't, the body proportions don't quite match the art and I don't know if I really like that or not. I feel like the boobs do not look big enough, nor do they hang enough in my opinion. So, um, this was going to be an instant pre-order for me, but I'm gonna have to wait to see how it turns out painted to see whether or not that is actually going to be the case because um, if, I don't know. If she looks really good, I will still pre-order her, but I am a little disappointed with her sculpt at the moment. So it's, uh, it's kind of up in the air for this one. Um, I did think this bunny girl was really cute here. Um, she's like, I think supposed to be a police girl, but she's got like a little blindfold on. And um, I think what I really liked about her overall was the uh, paint job on her bunny suit and her like stockings and whatnot. Or I guess those are boots, I think, thigh high boots. Um, it looks like um, that kind of wet latex material and I like that a lot on figures. So that's kind of why I liked her a little bit more than some of the other bunnies I saw, but I don't think I will pre-order her. I just, um, she just kind of caught my eye a little bit. And then, oh, this one, um, I probably won't pre-order her just because I feel like she doesn't really fit with the rest of my collection, but I do quite like her little outfit. I think it is very cute and it's giving kind of like cowboy vibes. 
um, and I love her like little bikini top. They look like stars. Uh, it's the typical like leg pulled up pose. I don't know what that's called, but um, it was pretty popular for like a couple months and then it kind of just died off. I think people were getting kind of annoyed with it, but I do think this figure is quite cute and I think the details of her sculpt look pretty good. So um, I don't think I'll pre-order her, but maybe, I don't know. And then what do we have next here? Ah, yes. Um, this is going to be another awesome Nagi girl, and this is actually going to be um, Keita Onozaki's sister, I believe, or just like they're supposed to be paired together. They are both uh, ninja girls. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think I like her design um, a little bit better than Keita's. I just think she looks so cute. I love her face so much. She looks adorable. Um, just very, very endearing face. And I love her long hair as well. I think honestly, which is hard, I don't know how, but it's, it, it seems like she's got bigger boobs than Kata. And Kata has huge boobs. So that's, it. that's an interesting little, um, thing there. She has very, very voluptuous thighs too. So, you know, I, I love me, love me some thick thighs and booty. So I, I quite like her design and I'll be very excited to see how she turns out painted. Um, I have no doubt she'll turn out pretty good. And I think I'm gonna display these two girls next to um, Saki since they all kind of have a similar vibe as far as their um, clothes go, like their clothing goes, because it's very um, kimono-esque despite being uh, rather skimpy. So yes, I think they all look pretty cute and they all have darker colored hair. So I think they'll look pretty good paired together. Um, Next up, oh, so I don't know if I'll pre-order these two, but I do quite like them and I think they're pretty cute. Um, it's just two bunny girls and um, I particularly like the bunny girl that has the white hair with the red streaks. So I may not pre-order both, but I might pre-order at least one of them, but I, I don't know because I think I will be tempted to want to pre-order both of them so I can display them with their chest squished together because that was kind of one of the things that I liked about this uh, figure is that you can display them like that. Um, but again, I think I will just have to wait to see how they turn out painted to decide whether or not I actually would want to pre-order them. But I do also quite like that they are a little bit on the chubbier side. Um, like again, you don't see that very often. So when you do, it's always a nice little, a nice little um, thing to see. Next up, we have um, this one, which again, I don't think I'll be pre-ordering her, but I did quite like her design. She's supposed to be like an elf girl and she's got like a little potion in her hand, um, but it's definitely very feet centered. So if you're into that, this is, this is the figure for you. If you like feet and you like elf girls, this will probably be an instant pre-order for you. And I just really like the color scheme of this figure. It's a very um, soft and pastel and just very, very pretty. So yes, that was another one that kind of caught my eye a little bit. And then um, I think the last one we're gonna kind of mention here is uh, this Jean figure here. I think the way that they draw men is very aesthetically pleasing and it looks very pretty and just soft and like I said, ethereal. So um, I probably will pre-order this figure depending on how the paint job turns out. and. Another thing that I really liked was the fact that the um, flag is actually fabric. You don't see that a ton with figures, so the fact that they did that instead of making it hard plastic is another thing that I really liked about this figure and I think adds a lot of, um, a lot of detail to the figure. Because I feel like you wouldn't be able to capture the flow of it as well if it were done in um, plastic and it might not fit together all that well. And not only that, but because it is fabric, you can kind of decide how you want the flag to billow around the figure. And I do like that as well. It gives it a little bit more um, customization. So I'll be interested to see how this turns paint turns out painted as well, because um, if it turns out good, I will most likely be getting it. That's gonna be everything for the native announcements that I was excited for. Um, Oh, actually, I will mention this one just because I love my cat girls. I love them a lot. And this is a binding figure. 
um she is just a little kitty girl i believe she's probably um going to be one fourth scale considering she's binding but i did see um that some of them were one sixth scale so that's kind of interesting to note but hopefully she'll be one fourth scale i do think she's pretty cute but again i will just have to see how she turns out when she's painted to really determine whether or not i would want to pre-order her um i feel like it's kind of hard to tell when all you're seeing is a gray scale because there's no depth there's no shading there's no colors that really bring the features of the character out so um it's kind of hard to tell when it's just an unpainted prototype whether or not you like it enough to pre-order it so a lot of these are kind of on the fence for me and i'll have to just wait to see how they turn out before i really decide whether or not um they'll be worth pre-ordering but i feel like uh, depending on her color scheme she might look good next to the other um cat uh girl that i have from binding uh kuro mako i think is what her name is um she's also super cute so yeah we'll just have to wait and see um, but that's going to be it for Native, so I guess now I will just um, briefly go over the few Smile Fest announcements that I was quite excited for or that I thought uh, were just kind of cute. So the first one is just going to be, I think a lot of these are Nendoroids by the way, so um, not very many scales this time around. But the first one is this super super cute Madden. Uh, modern Kitagawa Nendoroid. She has like her PJs on and she's got her little bangs tied up in like a scrunchie. Oh my god, I think it's so adorable and I love her little face. She's like sticking her tongue out. Um, I really like this one. Uh, I'll be interested to see what other uh, like accessories she comes with, if she will come with other accessories, and I might actually pick her up. This is the first Marin like little figure Nendoroid that I've seen that I like actually really liked and I thought was super adorable. So this might be my first Marin in my collection. Um, another one I'm excited for is they're making a Lane in Nendoroid. Uh, honestly, a little bit surprising, but I'm happy about it. I'll take it. I haven't finished. Um, I haven't finished watching Serial Experiments Lane, but um, I do really like her character and I think she is very cute and just like super like, just like so monotone, so like n no emotion whatsoever, but um, I think I think she'll turn into a very cute little Nendoroid, so I'll most likely pre-order her as well. Um, and then um, another one that I'm excited for is they announced a Sayana Uta pop-up parade so that was kind of a surprise as well um and i will definitely depending on how she turns out i will definitely probably pre-order her um she is a large size pop-up parade as well so that's pretty nice um i will be happy to see if they continue to make some more uh figures of saya because um the one figure that they do have of her that is like actually really good is freaking expensive like super expensive it's insane um so yes i'll be excited to see if they if they make some scales of her so fingers crossed um and then what else do we have here hmm. oh yes this is another one i'm really excited for the nendoroids got me this time around i'm not like super into collecting nendoroids but uh th there are a few in this list that i definitely will be pre-ordering um no matter what and uh, this Kishot Nendoroid is definitely going to be one of them. Um, I'm really happy to see that they are making some more um, Monogatari figures and whatnot, so I'm pretty excited for that. I hope she turns out adorable, and I hope this means we might get a Yatsugi Nendoroid. I would absolutely freaking die if we did. And um, honestly, I'm just really excited and hopeful that we'll get some good figures since we are now officially getting two new seasons of the Monogatari series. So fingers crossed on that as well. And then um, another another Monogatari announcement is going to be the Shinobu Oshino um, pop-up parade. It is based off of a pretty like prominent illustration of Shinobu where she's eating a donut. Um, I do think it is pretty cute. I, I'm not a huge fan of the pose with the way her like feet are positioned. I think it looks a little odd um, and also like you're gonna twist your ankle, but yeah, sure. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know. I might pre-order this one depending on how, on how it turns out, but it's definitely not my most favorite Shinobu figure ever. So um, I might pass on this one to get something else. Um, but then there is another Nendroid that I am quite excited for, and that is going to be the Misa uh, Nendroid from Death Note. I think she looks adorable. Um, so I'll, I'll be very excited for that as well. Um, I think it'll definitely be an Insta pre-order for me. And honestly, hopefully that means they'll, they'll be doing some more, um, they'll be doing some more scale figures for Death Note as well. I would kill to get a good Misa scale figure, but, uh, I don't, I don't think there was anything else on here that was going to be like an instant pre-order for me, but there were a few things that I did like the way they turned out and I thought they looked really nice. So let me see. I can find them. I think it was just this, um, I think it was just this Hatsune Miku Eternal Stream figure. Um, I just think the details on this are really nice. I don't typically tend to collect Miku figures, um, just because I'm not, like, super into Vocaloid or anything like that, but I really do like this one, and the quality looks absolutely stunning. So, um, depending on what her price point is, I may opt to pick this one up because I do want kind of a more standard Miku in my collection. Um, so if I'm gonna have a standard Miku, it's probably gonna be this one. The details on this look absolutely like stellar, amazing, and the paint job looks phenomenal. Um, so yes, depending on her price point, this may be my one and only like real true Miku figure. So um, we shall see about that. I know I, I pre-order a lot of Miku figures and I end up canceling them because I decide that I don't really want them that much, but um, this one is really truly stunning. So um, I think that's gonna be everything. I'm sorry I couldn't go over everything for you guys, but um, I just feel like it would have taken way too much time and I don't really feel like it's beneficial for me to talk about figures that I'm not interested in or that I don't really know much about because then it's just me rambling about randomness that doesn't really make sense so um that's why i just opted to talk about the ones that i'm personally really excited for but please 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 do leave a comment letting me know what you saw and what you might be excited for because i am interested to know um and as always if you like the video leave a like a comment maybe subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one bye